How's it going everyone? I'm back out here in Minnesota today and I'm gonna be targeting some largemouth bass. I'm hoping I can catch them on a spider lure. What I've got here is the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider. I'm gonna be fishing that on my St. Croix Bass X rod. I've got the six foot, six inch, medium heavy, fast action with a quantum vapor reel. I'm running 30 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 line on that. Now I did try these spider lures a couple of times last summer on smallmouth and I did pretty well. I've never thrown them at largemouth though, so that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go see if we can find a few big ones willing to eat that spider. Pretty much every cast I've got bluegills nipping at my spider legs. Well, if they like it, the bass should like it too. We just gotta figure out where the bass are. I'm not sure if they're gonna be up shallow quite yet, but you'd think if the bluegills are up here, the bass should be up here too. It did get kind of cold last night, so. I'm gonna laugh if I actually hook into one of those bluegill. There we go, there's a spider bass. It's not a big one, but hey, we're on the board. I think the spider's gonna work pretty well out here on this lake. It's actually one of my favorite lakes for fishing the hollow body frog. You can probably see why we've got a lot of lily pads and surface vegetation out here. And the spiders are pretty similar lure to that. They both have that hollow body with the weedless hooks. Perfect for pulling through this kind of stuff. And I'm fishing it about the same too. I'm just kind of twitching it along, getting those legs moving. Hopefully if we put that thing in front of a big bass, they'll find it irresistible. Come on over here. Well, there's a nice one on the spider. Yeah, he definitely wanted that thing. Heck yeah, there's a quality bass. I did not think that one was going to be that big. Wow, that is a nice large mouth right there. Jeez, he inhaled that spider. Of 
It's awesome to take a little swipe at it there, that cast before. I thought it was just going to be a little one. But nope, that is a nice, chunky largemouth. Wow. That one's a big one. That works. Well, he's not quite as big as I thought he was. Geez, he blasted that spider. That's a decent fish though. Something just hit the surface up there. Either that or a turtle plopped off one of those logs. I'm almost back to the launch over here. About ready to call it quits for the day. I was hoping I could hook into one more nice bass. Oh, something else just surfaced up over there. Looked like it might be just little bluegills or something. Oh my gosh, almost made it back to the launch. And we're gonna end the day on that. Wow, look at the size of that large mouth. On the spider, jeez. Yeah, that's where I launched from, right over there. Just about to call it quits for the day. And that monster largemouth came along and smacked that spider. Jeez, that is a beast. I think I'm gonna call it a day after that last fish. That was an awesome way to end the morning. It's been a great morning of fishing out here and we found out that bass do indeed love spiders. We caught bass of all sizes on that thing today from probably four ounces to, I bet that last one was over four pounds. So that phantom spider got the job done. My only gripe about it is I wish it was a little bit more buoyant a lot of bluegills out here they're nipping at that thing pretty much every cast dragging it underwater and you get more than a couple drops of water in there you got to squeeze it out to keep that thing on the surface aside from that it worked great i had a lot of fun fishing it always a blast catching bass on top water well here i am where i started from so i guess that's it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.